and welcome to Ganesh's new channel. So today in our video we are going to discuss something about Sharpitz method. What does it mean? We use Sharpitz method to solve non-homogeneous linear equation. I mean let's say in last two years we have solved linear differential equation right? But what if you are given with non-linear differential equation? Then what, how you can solve those? So let me tell you how you can do it. You need to solve this. You can see that in Lagrange's linear equation, we are given with something which is in the form of P, P, Q, Q, R, right? Where R is not in the form of a differential operator. Not in the form of P, not in the form of Q, R is in uh, terms of X and Y or any constant, right? But you can see, in this equation, even if you want to uh, separate something which doesn't have uh, P and Q in it, then also you will have something which is still in the form of PQ. You cannot get everything all along in the form of variables. So in that case, this is a non-linear equation, okay, and you need to follow Charpitz method. So for Charpitz as well, you need to form, uh, follow three steps. If you remember, you can check out my last video, which is based on Lagrange's linear equation. You can see that firstly, when you have this equation, you need to write dx, dy, dz. And in denominator P, Q, R, right? And thereafter you need to equate so that you will be able to get two functions and then find the value of those functions. Similarly, you need to do something in the form of dx, dy, dz, but it is some, something different. First of all, this is your equation. You need to put it as zero. Even if something is given to you right inside, you need to take that back into left hand side. So this is your equation. Now, this is your function in terms of x, y, z, p, q. Correct? So this is your function. Now, this is the formula for Charpitz method. I hope you can find it easy to see. See, what you need to do? Write all the differentiable variable factors, so dx, dy, dz, dp, dq, and df. dx, dy, dz, dp, dq, df. In denominator form, firstly, take negative of partial differentiation of f with respect to p, then with respect to q. Then, with dz, you need to take this and this, but with p and q factors, p and q. Thereafter, for dp and dq, you need to take z. So firstly df, partial differentiation of f with respect to x, plus p, partial differentiation of f with respect to z. So these are for xz and this is for yz. This is taking p with dz, this is taking q with dz and here always u. Okay, let's begin. So you need to find all these values and put them down into this formula. So step number one is to, find, is to write down this Then, df by dq minus this value, right, with q. Then, dp, dp with x and z. So, df by dx with p, df by dz. Thereafter, dq with yz. Right? And then, df. Okay, this is your formula. Now, find out the value one by one and equate them. So, find out partial differentiation of f with respect to p. So, partially differentiated with respect to p. There is no p, so 0. This will be minus 2px. There is no p. This will be Q. Correct? Thereafter, with respect to Q, there is no Q, no Q. There will be, it would be 2. For Q, it's 1, X, Y, and this would be P. Right? 
Thereafter, what else you want? This you have got now partial differentiation of f with respect to x. So with respect to x, 2z minus 2px minus 2qy. There is no x, so zero. Thereafter, with respect to y, right? Is there any y? Yeah, here minus 2qx, right? And then with respect to z as well, let me write it here. Is there any z? Yes, 2x, right? So this is 2x, all right. All set to go. Now you have found all these values. Now put them down into this formula. So dx by minus of this. So minus minus plus 2px minus q. Right? Then minus of df by dq. So 2xy minus p. Thereafter, p with this and q with this. Right? So 2p square x pq. And with it q, with minus, so it is already in minus, right? This is already in minus, so plus 2qxy minus pq, right? Thereafter dp, with respect to x, what is it? 2z minus 2px, you are doing, you are taking with respect to x, plus p of with respect to z, so 2px. Thereafter, this was dp, so dq with respect to y, what is it? Minus 2qx, q with respect to z, 2qx, df by 0, right? You can see this is 0 now. So, your next step is to find out the values for p and q, okay? Let me erase it. So, you can see that this is 0. Because your one factor is 0, you can take it like, because it is equal to something. So, you can take dq is equal to 0. Remember, after putting down all these values, you need to find out in step number 2, p and q. By equating any of these, wherever it is easier. So, I can see that dq by 0 can make it as dq is equal to 0, right? So, on integrating, on integrating what you can get, q, this is, this will be some constant, let's say a, this is the value for q. Now, put the value of q into this equation, this main equation, okay? So, if you will put, let me raise it, So if you put the value of q here as a, what you will get? 2xz minus p x square minus 2 axy plus ap because q is a, right? Now find out the value of p. Take all the p together. This is a minus x square. This will be 2xy minus 2xz. You can take it there so as to make and highest power positive. Take 2 common. This will be positive. So you can take x common as well. z minus 2ay. Right? If you take 2x common, z minus 2a. Because you take it here and this right hand side. Okay. So your p is now 2x z minus 2ay by x square minus a. Right? Now, this was your step 2 to find out the value of P and Q. Q is A, P is this. Your third step. Third, in third step, what you need to take? Take this general equation. dz is equal to P dx Q dy. Okay? dz is equal to p dx and q dy and put down all the values of t and q. 
p is 2x z minus 2ay dx plus q is a dy. Now you need to find out the value of z that means integrate it but before that check it out if you can simplify it in somehow. Let's say if we take it on left hand side what will you get? This will remain on right hand side, right? Thereafter, you can take this as well on left hand side. So, in denominator. Now you can integrate. On integrating, you can see denominator, differentiation of denominator is in numerator. Isn't it? Let, let me tell you how. If you put this as t and differentiate it, so dz minus 2a dy, uh, it, is it 2ay or ay? Was it 2ay or ay? Because it should be ay, then only you will get something where we missed it out. We put it here as a uh, 2axy and in x square minus a you have already taken 2 out right so there is no 2 right so this is ay ay now everything is sorted so uh, now if you take you can see you know the integration of the function if function is given in denominator and its derivative is in the numerator, then the uh, integration will be log of that function, right? Let me tell you how. Take denominator as t. Now differentiate dz minus a dy is equals to dt, right? So you can see this is your this is your dt and this is your t. So if you integrate what it will be? Log t, right? So I am writing it down as log z minus a y. Similarly, you can see if you take it as t, so 2x dx is in the numerator, that means it will also be log x square minus a. You can take modulus as well. Why we take modulus? Because log value is positive, but the square of x is positive, so it will be positive. Now, for constant, you have already taken one constant as a initially. You can take it as b. Why I took log b? Just to simplify it so that log in addition will be multiplied. Log z minus a y. Log will cancel with log. And z minus a y is equals to b into x square minus a. So your z your z is b into x square minus a plus a y. So this is your complete solution. Okay. Now, this is your complete solution. So let me recapitulate everything. For Chopitz method, the standard form, the simplified form you need to take as this, okay, the equation, auxiliary equation. This, once you will learn this by tricks or anything, thereafter in step number 2 find out the value of P and Q and then this is the standard form of the equation of function dz is equal to P dx Q dy for the function in the form of x, y, z, p, q. Once you will solve this, you will get the value of z and that will be your complete function. I hope you understand this video. I know it's a little bit uh, complex, but only in the sense that you need to learn this formula. Otherwise, it is easier. Why? Because you have already done so many questions based on integration, differentiation, partial differentiation. So all the concepts combined together and putting down the values into this, you will get your answer. I hope you understand this video and if so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Until my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.